Uh, Start over. So, how many seconds to do the Start over. He's trying to do something here. What's the score there, uh, around 1, 18, 12? Okay, is your camera still connected? Yeah. Uh, I've only two cameras on them though. Dead camera is in the good I suppose dead camera is in the good end. Well, do you want to go to check and see it's in Yeah. Keep swapping. I'll keep swapping, okay? Okay, so question 12. During this period, Geneva became known as the city of what? Question 12. During this period, Geneva became known as the city dot 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 dot. Okay. Question 13, um, unlucky number for some people, but maybe this is a lucky one for you. In England, followers of Calvin became known as what? In England, followers of Calvin became known as... Question 13, we'll put it up on the screen there for you now. Uh, followers of Calvin became known as what? Okay, question 14. I could tell you now. If I was a history student in second year, um, I wouldn't be doing terribly well in this. It's been a long time since I've practiced history myself. So the, the last question of the round. Why did King Henry VIII decide to break away from Rome? Why did King, why did King Henry VIII decide to break away from Rome? Actually, I don't really know why anybody would break away from Rome. Anybody who's been to Rome, it's such an amazing city. Um, right now, if we think it's sunny here, I bet you it's at least five degrees warmer in Rome. So, that's the end of round three. Uh, three rounds down and three rounds to go. Um, the latest scores that we have are telling me that St. Vincent's are in the lead. We'll try and get a close-up of the score, the score there now in a second. Um, there's some 
guys having a bit of a good time there from um, St. Vincent's. Um, good old Joshua Lurian collecting some of the scores from one of the tables there. Um, there's a close-up of some of our other guys. There's some St. Mary's. Using the strategy for the next round, who knows? One of the teachers there in the background. Uh, oh, there's TJ. Evan. A uh, big wave from Toby. Hello, Toby. Um, who else we got in the picture there now while we're waiting? Some more of the girls from St. Mary's. So we've got 30 students here from St. Mary's and 30 students from St. Vincent's. Okay, round four, here we go. Round four, here we go. Round four. Question one, who is the religious, who is this religious reformer? So, guy with a beard, very fancy beard as Taylor pointed out. Taylor Bourne, who is one of our quiz masters today. Who is this man? So it's not only in the 2010s and 2020s that beards have been fashionable. Clearly they've been fashionable back a few hundred years ago too. Who is this religious reformer? Question one of round four. Okay, question two. Question two. So, a picture of Ignatius Loyola on our screens now. What was the name of the religious order he set up? Well, what we do know is that Ignatius Loyola um, ha um, would have a lot of followers here in Ireland. Um, they run some schools. Um, very famous secondary private fee paying school is run by Ignatius Loyola's uh, religious order. I can't give you any more hints than that. If I gave you any more, I'd be accused of cheating, and that wouldn't be fair. There's on our screen there right now. Uh, these are our score counters um, who are keeping uh, a tie on, an eye on what the score is. Okay, question three. This image is from the Spanish Inquisition. Please explain what the Inquisition was. So, what was the Spanish Inquisition? Question 4, could we see a painting of the St. Volume's Day Massacre in 1572? What happened on this day? Not so nice happened on this particular day. Um, I assume most students here today would have a good idea of that because I reckon everybody here today is a good history student uh, who does their homework and um, participates well in class. Otherwise, I'm sure neither schools would have them sitting here um, representing their school. Okay, question five. Question five. Let's have a look at the picture there and let's explain what is happening here. Okay. What is happening here? Okay, so let's have a look at the actual real scoreboard and Luke Deegan is in charge of the scoreboard. Um, so as we scroll down, obviously the table numbers are there, um, some scoring quite high. Now that scoreboard in itself doesn't tell you which teams belong to St. Vincent's or which teams belong to Holy Faint St. Mary's Class Nevin. I put my money on that probably the girls are winning. I hate to say that as somebody who teaches in our school here, but 
knowing anything about education that we do know that girls tend to perform better in school than boys. Yep, it's a harsh reality, but it's true. Girls tend to perform better than boys. Sorry guys. So, round five, the plantations. Okay, see Adam Daly there, uh, one of the chief uh, score collectors. We're on to round five, only one more round to go after this round. Okay, and it's on the plantations. Question one, explain the term plantation. So what is a plantation? Obviously, students would study plantations in geography too, but not to the same extent as you would in history, but we would cover it. So you're, if you're somebody who listens in either subject, history or geography, you're bound to know a little bit about this question. Explain the term plantation. Okay, question two. What type of law did the people of the Pale use? What type of law did the people of the Pale use? Okay, we're back on air. Apologies for that slight uh, cut off. Um, it's the joys of technology and especially when we're all new to trying something new and today is a day of news. I believe it's our first day uh, for our school to have a quiz involving girls from another school. So again we'd like to welcome all our students from St Mary's and it's also a day when we first broadcast multicam viewing of an event live in our school. So it's a day of first today. Anyway back to the important stuff. Question 5. What was King Henry VIII's policy to try and control Ireland in 1534? What was King Henry VIII's policy to try and control Ireland in 1534? There's some other great students, hard workers, Razvan, Dennis, Olaf, moving on over to Raymond, uh, Kyle over there, hello Kyle, thumbs up from Kyle, Shane as well, Angelo. Okay, back to the questions. Okay, um, question five, just a reminder, we're in question five in the fifth round. Okay, what was Leash and Offaly known as during the plantation? What was Leash and Offaly known as during the plantation? There's our score counters there working hard. Well, okay, question seven. What queen ruled over the Munster plantation in 1600? What queen ruled over the Munster plantation in 1600? That's Lee Doherty, one of the quiz masters. Um, Lee and Taylor have run quizzes in the school before. Um, they've got a bit of a name for themselves now running quizzes um, in the school. Well done to them for volunteering their time today. Okay, so I'm having a look across the scoreboard. You can't see it right now. Who's in the lead? Question eight. Name the two most powerful chiefs ruling Ulster in 1590, and you need their full names. 
named the two most powerful chiefs ruling Ulster in 1590 and you need their full names for your answer to be correct. So let's have a little look at the crowd there. Cheers to you as well. Okay, the Battle of Kinsale. Next question, what year was it? Battle of Kinsale, what year was it? Okay, there we go, it's question on the screen there for you. Question nine, what, was, what year was the Battle of Kinsale? Actually, they're quite tough questions here today. Um, obviously, I haven't studied history in a long, long, long time, so I wouldn't know most of these questions uh, or answers. But uh, actually, I got an A in my history for my junior cert. There you go. I must have been quite good at the time. So, here's a little look from where we're broadcasting, actually. Um, yeah, this wasn't supposed to be the way it was supposed to be, but uh, it is today. Um, yeah. Where did you send the girls to join? So you send the girl out. To the, yeah, with the with the with their male teacher down to the. No, no to the one at Maureen's office. The staff toilet. Which one? Which staff toilet? The staff. So question 11, how long did the war between the two Hughes and Queen Elizabeth last? Now that's Hugh as opposed to you, H-U-G-H, not Y-O-U, not the two U's. And there's our bell, to tell us we're nearing the end of our day, I think everybody's in really good form here today, Friday, Friday afternoon. And just a reminder, we have our second year history quiz on here between St. Mary's and Holy Faith. Um, we're nearing the end of our quiz now. Uh, we're on to question 12. Oh, the six Ulster counties that were planted. Question 12. The six Ulster, Ulster counties planted. Question 12. Okay, so while we're waiting there, this is what we're doing over here. We're standing here. Uh, if Bogdan comes around and he'll actually show you the screen that we've been working on. Bogdan, if you can give us a close up of the screen down here. If you can Bogdan, of the screen that we're working off so students can actually see. Maybe, I don't think they can see upside down, Bogdan, so you might need to move the camera around. So, this is the screen we're working off uh, whereby we're positioning all the various cameras. Um, There we go, Bogdan, apologies. So that's the screen we've been working off here, guys, uh, whereby we're looking at different cameras that are showing us different angles. Um, apologies for the sound today, it wasn't meant to be like that, but uh, this is a first of firsts, and we're trying, hopefully this will be the first of many times that we try uh, a live streaming event. Okay, back to the questions. Question 13, who replaced Queen Elizabeth in 1603? Question three. Queen Elizabeth in 1603. So we're nearing the we're nearing the end of our quiz here at this stage. Um, we hope those in the class with Miss Costello have enjoyed our day here. Um, really apologies about the sound, but again, we do hope to make it better for the next day. Okay, question 14. Was the Ulster Plantation a success? Was the Ulster Plantation a success? Question 15. Let's have a look at it here. Who were the Royalists? Not the Loyalists, the Royalists. Who were the Royalists? Now you've got me in that one. I have absolutely no clue. And if you're sitting there watching this and have no clue, meet your sister. Sorry, meet your brother. 
Question 15. Who were the Royalists? So, another history teacher has just joined. We can see on the screen there, Miss Costello. Um, we can see Mr. Doran there. A lot of very popular teacher in the school, history teacher. A lot of students giving her the royal wave. Maybe the Royalists are the people who follow Miss Costello. Okay, what were the name given to those who opposed or that oppose the Royalists? Okay. What were the name given to those who oppose the Royalists? Okay, let's get question 17. What saying did Cromwell become synonymous with? So, what saying uh, do we still say today that was said by Cromwell? Okay. See Miss Costello telling people where they should be looking. Okay, so we're looking at a, a wide angle there of the math students here today. We have 60 students, 30 from St. Vincent's plus 30 from Holy Faith. Um, and we have about 12 to 15 other students involved in counting and totting up scores and collecting scores. Okay, question 15. Sorry, question 18. What were the obviously we know there were very tough laws that penalized people, but what were the penal laws? Okay. So Kyle Burke. on the map okay so let's have a look there what does the area in grey represent on the map now when I look at the map the grey looks blue so to the viewers at home if you're looking at this uh, what does the area in grey represent on the map now to me it looks more purple uh, so maybe what does the area and purple represent on the map. Okay. So Okay, so what was the name of the stone wall built around the enclosure? See Miss Quinn has popped in to say hello to some students. Okay, so there's round five completed with one round to go. So we're five to three, we're doing well. Plenty of time left in the quiz. Um, I wonder how the scores are totting up now. If we can get a close up of the scores, that'll be great. Let's see Daniel and Adam collecting some of the scores from the various teams there. Miss Quinn checking in with the students here today to see how they're doing. Obviously hoping for a win for St. Vincent's as you would expect. Okay. Round six, last round. Revolutions, round six and then revolutions. So question one is what is a revolution? Okay, what is a revolution? To revolve word to revolve. What is a revolution? Okay, some close up to students there. Hoping to take away some prize today by just being a little bit ahead of the table next to them. Quick look at the question again. Question one in the final round. What is a revolution?
Okay. What two colonies were originally those colonies British after the war? Right, so let's question. We're originally Dutch colonies but became British after the war. So, question what two colonies were originally Dutch colonies but became British after the war? Now, okay, question three what was the slogan of the War of Independence? What was the slogan of the War of Independence. Okay, question three. What was the war of independence? Some St. Mary's girls there. There are some of the girls I spoke to earlier on where you couldn't hear the sound. They were fairly happy with the answers they were giving. So question four. What year was the Stamp Act introduced? What year was the Stamp Act introduced? Okay. Some of our teams there. Down the back. Toby. DJ. Yo DJ spin that wheel. Somebody putting their thumbs up for us there. So we have Evan, Adrian and DJ in the picture there. Three students who I'm sure who will be at a table that will perform well the today. Is, Question five of the final round. What was the Town Shend Act? What was the Town Shend Act? Now, I would have thought that that should say Town's End Act, but hey, I'm not a history teacher, so I'm not going to say what it should be. Anyway, let's move on to question six. What is a colony? Now, there are a lot of colonies, ants of colonies, and here amongst other types of species. So, Raymond Gilligan and his team working. Question 8. Who were the Patriots? Question 8. Who were the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Of the girls from St. Mary's there coming up in the picture there now. They seem to be having great fun. Not too sure what they're laughing at, but uh, it sounds like fun. We have some of our students there. We have Nathan Kirwan, one of our regular bin men in the school who keeps our school green and tidy. Question. So question six, what is a colony? And then question eight, who are the patriots? So there's, I think the issue here is that there seem to be no number. Question seven. Four British colonies in America. So there's Mr. Walsh. Just in the picture there a second ago. Um, he's gone out of it there now, you can't see. But Mr. Walsh is the man behind, um, if I'm right, behind organising this.
to Mary's in Glasnevin coming here today to check their knowledge on second year history. Okay, question nine. What happened? What's happening in this? What? What happening in this photo? Oh, that's not really how you say it. What is happening in this photo? Or what's happening in this photo? Is how it Oh, so we're going to the last question of the quiz now. Okay. Ten. Last quiz. Uh, last question of last round of the quiz. What's happening in this photo? What's happening in this photo? Okay. So that is the results of the quiz at this stage. So. Let's see how people did. We'll get an idea of the scores now in a second. Boys and girls, really quickly, all right? So, now that the quiz is over, um, so, so people the sheets. Um, how And uh, their teacher, Mr. Farland, I'm not sure if this is your person. I apologize. Stay with us. Okay then. So there you go. Thank you for coming over. Uh, thanks so much to St. Mary's for coming over. And of course, our boys, the St. Mary's Obviously, things don't happen today. Uh, Marcel, sort of thank you very much, Mr. So big uh, thank you to Mr. Connolly, who is doing this. Oh, yes, now they're, they're testing. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting a big round of applause for testing out some new technology. So, big round of applause there now for the uh, score correctors and collectors. A big shout out there for Luke at the stage, our score man. And we're getting a big shout out now for our quiz masters, Taylor Byrne and Lee Doherty. So as you said, there's a lot of a lot of organisation goes into having 60 students from two different schools come here today. Um, so well done to everybody who's been involved in it. So if there's still anybody uh, watching, just stay tuned, and we'll find out fairly soon um, how people are doing. Oh, now they're going to give out all the answers. So the answers are going to come out now at this stage. So all the answers are coming up now. Question two. Of a compass is direction, and the image is a coordinate chart. 